Um, I'd like to start the second presentation this afternoon. Uh, before I introduce you very interesting speakers, I'd like to te tell you like my personal story, why this discussion uh, happened and why uh, these, people are, these, these two people are sitting here. Um, probably all of you are ever of huge scandal Panama Papers. And you know a lot of information about Panama Papers from Czech, Slovak, European medias. And I used to travel to Panama very often. And when I, when I came to Panama two, uh, two years ago, I was invited to like a Panamian conference about Panama Papers. And in Panama, I met a lot of people. And these people, they, have, they had completely opposite opinion about Panama Papers. And one of these people is Adolfo. But firstly, I'd like to introduce you lady, Pavla. So Pavla Holtzova, she's a famous uh, journalist, Czech journalist. Uh, she is involved in, uh, in many different projects. Uh, she, she was also like a professional partner of Jan Kuciak. Maybe you know that Jan Kuciak was murdered uh, in Slovakia wow. together with his uh, wife. It was like really crazy situation. It's still in progress. Um, Pavla was interrogated by Slovak police and these people stole, the, stole her, her phone. So this was also very, very sad situation that this, how something like this is possible in a developed country like, like Slovakia. Uh, so Pavla is personally focused on uh, investigation and a lot analysis of information in uh, Panama Papers. Uh, and then I would like to introduce you Adolfo. Adolfo, he's like libertarian celebrity in Panama. He's one of the most influential critic of the current Panamian government. He thinks that people should deserve privacy and Panama should be the country with a low, low taxation uh, uh, and do this, uh, does this offshore, offshore business because this is crucial for existence of, of Panama. And he has quite different opinions uh, like uh, Pavla. So I like both these people. I really like, like them. They're really kind. So, and I'm really f looking forward to this discussion because, because I'm, I really want to know what will be the result of this discussion. I prepared nice, interesting question. I hope you'll have also time for uh, your questions. So let's start. Thank you. Paul, Paul, yep. I think like I found my lost sister. <laughs> you know? I don't yeah. know because maybe you know. To... I'm evil twin. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, oh. in, uh, okay. So in, in Latin America, there are there are gringos. You probably know gringos. Wicked. Gringos are people we, uh, from the U.S. And in addition to gringos, there are fulos. Yeah, yeah. Fulo. You know Fulo? Fulo, Fulo means blonde, but I'm not blonde. I'm, yeah, okay, yeah, but you are Fulo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody here is Fulo in, in Latin America. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 see. <laughs> okay, so you are also Fulo. In yes, I'm glad to be here. <clears throat> okay, so the first question. Uh, we, can see, we could see a lot of shocking and negative titles in the world media exposing offshore financial industry. Uh, politician name in the Panama paper, the biggest name caught up in the league so far. So my first question is, how do you personally perceive Panama paper leak? And do you think this leak was solely a good thing? Or you see, or you are ever also some negative aspects? So who wants to be first? Okay, I personally, I hate this project mm -hmm. because it was plenty of really, really focused work uh, and at the end we were not 
uh, really reveal the names of the beneficial owners because the Czech side of Mossack Fonseca, Mossack Fonseca, the, the law agency that actually, not law agency, like the, the lawyers, the attorneys who were actually running Mossack Fonseca office, uh, they had a branch here in Czech Republic and the Czech branch decided they are not going to share any information with the Panamian headquarters because they don't trust they will keep the data safe. So we went through like 250,000 documents uh, and always at the end there was some lawyer or there was some uh, information like no data found. But for me, uh, the, the project as itself, it was about something totally else. And this was actually the first time when we saw how the offshore business really works. Because before Panama Papers, papers we always got the, the response like, no, we are just, you know, we are just fulfilling the wishes of our clients. And we as a journalist, we were never able to prove that actually offshore business is helping money laundering and siphoning money out of the countries. And this was the first time when we were actually able to prove it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I have mine incorporated. Uh, well, f for me, Panama Papers is the greatest fake news of, of the 21st century. Don't trust me, trust the ICIG, who is the consortium of journalists who made this, this investigation, which is, it is not an investigation. It was a hack. They stole information, and they made it... I know, I know, I know, but they are the good guys. I'm talking, the I'm talking about the bad guys. They stole information uh, and, and, and made it publicly. But then again, why did I say this fake news? I'm going to read it, a disclaimer, a legal disclaimer that, is in, that you will find it in the ICIG website, who says the following. There are legitimate use for offshore companies, foundations, and trusts. We do not intend to suggest or imply that any person, companies, or other entities included in the ICIG Power Players Interactive Application, whatever, punto dot com, has broken the law or otherwise. I repeat, uh, they have, broken, have not broken the law or otherwise acted improperly. If you find an error in the database, please, da, da, da. So is there, this, they are not implying nor suggesting, nor, in, nor confirming that the information you stole and published it is not legal. And then, where is the scandal? Where is the right of privacy of all the people that suffer a breach of a very intimate and fundamental civil rights, which is recognized by the UN Charter and the UN Human, uh, Declaration of Human Rights, Article 17, the right of privacy, as the same in the Constitution, Fourth Amendment of the Constitution of the United States. But you so are the actually, right of sorry. you are mixing two things together. No. Yes, this disclaimer is actually saying like it's totally legal to have offshore of companies. Of course, it's legal. So where is where is but where is you the, have the delinquent? source crime? Okay. Where is the delinquent? Who has been put in jail because of the Panama Papers? Tell me one. Who? Okay, Paula. Who? Who, who, yeah, uh, uh, who has been actually, arrested? Okay, wait, wait, or who crime, has been? Okay, wait. Okay. okay wait. Uh, Lula da Silva. He got 12 years. But not in because jail. of the. But not because of the Panama Papers. Yeah, Lavallato. No, 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 no. Lavallato <laughs> is another thing. It's okay, okay, another okay, thing. No, 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 no. So please. Uh, no, no, no. A former uh, prime minister of Pakistan is in jail now because of the Panama Papers. <laughs> The, the because of the Panama, why because of the Panama Papers? Of course, because it was proven based on Panama Papers that he was siphoning money from state companies to his private, uh, to fund his that private... That information is not in the law firm, that information is in the banks. Those are the ones who move and channel the money. Big banks. The banks in the Panama Papers, the offshore companies in the... But 70% of the offshore companies mentioned in Panama Papers. Mm -hmm. And 100% of the banks were not Panamanian banks and were not... Panamanian companies, okay, yeah. where BBI Pan companies, okay, okay, okay. Uh, where uh, European companies and European banks. Uh, okay. Pablo, yeah, your we answer? are talking about Panama Papers as a database, as a set of actually 42 million documents, not only 11. Yes. And actually, yes, those were bank accounts of offshore, quite often Panama-based companies. So mm. you can't really separate. 30% 
less than 30% of the offshore companies in the Panama Papers were from Panama, incorporated in Panama. And 0% of the banks used to channel those ugly money laundering schemes were European banks and US banks, 100%. Not even one was a Panamanian bank. So why they call it Panama Papers? That's a very good question. Yeah, I, okay. I would like but to, I would, zero <laughs> banks and zero financial okay. institutions were from Panama. Let, let me, let and me. then again, the use yeah. of the offshore companies is illegal. Uh, is legal as you <laughs> say it in the, the disclaimer of the okay. ICIG. No? Alors, let me in, inter interrupt. Uh, the, this was the answer for the first question. Let's switch mm. to the second one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the second question is, what do you think, what countries and institutions did benefit from Panama Leak the most? This is the question. Because we know, for example, that unfortunately that, for example, German tax office or, Germ or Germany, German government paid a bribe to, uh, to some um, internal employee in, uh, uh, in uh, Swiss bank okay. to release some, some information. And this is like a documented process, mm -hmm. you know. So, so the question is, uh, for example, would you approve Czech government hacking Irish government database to leak beneficial owners? Uh, and what about the other way? For example, German Secret Service hacking a Czech law office. So, so basically, but I would like to, you know, just to imagine it opposite way. By, by uh, the question is, and this is probably the most important. Do you think there should be a legal secrecy, secrecy between lawyers and their customers, their clients? And you can decide what. what like. Ladies first. <laughs> Okay, I, I would really love to see more data, like Panama Papers. Uh, I don't want the government to, have, uh, to be the ones who are actually the, the, the ones who are hacking the systems, mm -hmm. but it would really under help us understand better who and how is using, actually abusing the system. Mm -hmm. If we will get the data for a couple even of the Czech or Irish or even Delaware in the US or Nevada, and such a formation agent, it would be eye-opener. Adolfo? Then again, it's, thank you very much. Uh, privacy is not a sin. And everything that the Panama Papers prove was that people use offshore companies to do these transactions. And that's, and that's not an illegal by in itself. Uh, the problem here is that why so privacy, I mean, I will share his privacy in this audience as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a right, because, for example, in America, where I come from, I'm talking about the continent of America, not only the United States, privacy is only, it's also a human right. And I have the right to privacy, which doesn't mean I have the right of secrecy and everything that is private is not evil. That's why when you enter into Facebook and Instagram, you have user and, and whatever, and stuff like that. So there are legal means to obtain information uh, 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 when, when there's reasonable doubt or suspicion that something is being, doing, is being doing wrong. And then you have to go either as a personal, as a civil person, or as a, or as a policeman or an investigator to a judge, get a court order, a specific court order, in, the, in this case, not the 200 and whatever thousand companies, but to the two or three or the hundred companies that you suspect that are doing wrong, and then you get that information through the process of law. Mm -hmm. that, that is yeah, called the rule of law, because at the end, what, what, we, what, what the, the Panama Papers was a hacking the same way it, the WikiLeaks hacks. And then where is the double standard? Why? The American government and everybody, all the government says that the WikiLeaks was wrong, mm -hmm. and then the Panama Paper was okay. So yeah, it's right. the same thing at the end. Okay. So that, there's also a double standard because our both are in outside the rule of law. Mm -hmm. which societies will always mm -hmm. try to follow the rule of law. Otherwise, we live in an anarchic state. Okay, Pablo, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah, well, I think WikiLeaks and Panama Papers are okay, both. Uh, what I just wanted to say is that Panama actually signed the information, tax information exchange. By treaty. force. 
by force, by force last year. Which violates international law. So if law. you are talking mm. about legal ways how to obtain the, if, obtain the information, it was impossible to obtain information no, no, from Panama. Yeah. Okay. No, not I, at all. I have another question. Not at all. Not oh. at all. I invite you to see it and to, to ask for a, for, a, for a scandal that you see a Panamanian company and they will always, in the news, you will see the beneficial owner. Mm -hmm. That's the first, that's the most specific proof that our system works. Do you have privacy? Yes. But if you want to know and you have a legal reason to know who's, the, who's behind it, you will find it. Yeah, but... No, we, we don't saw, have that in okay. BBI, okay. in okay. Delaware, ni in Europe. Okay, okay. Sorry, As sorry. As you can see, Mossack <laughs> Fonseca didn't know 75% of the beneficial owners of the companies they have created. I'm not Mossack Fonseca, my friend, but if they didn't do that, then they have, their, they have, to, they, they have to be fined by the law, but not by stolen information. Anyway. Not by stolen information, because that happened to me, that can happen to me, that can happen to you. Yeah. That I can happen to... To, to you, Pavel, my yeah. friend. You have, you haven't done anything yet, no? Yeah. I have a, I have a, I have a, so far? Yeah. I have a subsequent question. <laughs> yeah, of course. And uh, a small lawyer, you know, Mosa yeah. Fonseca has 600, I don't know how many, I have 50. Well, I, well, okay, you are glad. <laughs> 600 people yeah. are out okay. of job, and that's Pavel, a very use, bad use thing. Microphone. Use microphone. That's a very bad thing to, to have 500 yeah. people out of job because, because for nothing. Uh, and in, a, in an act of crime, because that was a violation of basic human rights, in my opinion. Pavla, I have, I have a special question for you. Uh, so I really like that you admit that the government shouldn't have a right to, to make this blackhead like hacking. You know, this, this was like a blackhead hacking, you know, like without permission and so on. Uh, so we are still not sure like who is behind this hack. It's still, I think, the process of investigation. German government and the French government yeah. and the USA okay. government. They, I admitted, they admitted in CNN. Yeah, okay. Anyway, Trust me, I'm so, a lawyer, not a liar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so I have a question. I have a question. That's off the record. Yeah, I have, I have a question <laughs> like that, that we, but we can agree this was like illegally obtained evidence. This leak was illegally obtained evidence. So Actually, I can't call it evidence. You can use it at the court as evidence. You cannot? No. Why? Yeah. Only as a circumstantial because evidence. Because it was stolen. Yeah. So, so this, yes. this, was my, this is my question. I rest my case. Yeah. Yeah. This is my question. So, so this is my question to, um, to you, and you, you, you have already answered to this question. So this cannot be used in any legal process, this, this evidence? It in could be used as a circumstantial evidence. Well, but, but, but I'm a lawyer, what code. does that mean? Circumstantial, circumstantial means like supportive evidence, yes. something like that. Yes. Supportive evidence. Okay, so, so for example, this guy who uh, in Pakistan, Iran, you mentioned at the beginning. John Doe? Uh, so he was, no. Uh, no, he, who is he, he was arrested because of the supportive evidence or because... Yes, they built a case on the Panama mm -hmm. Papers, but they were able to build the case uh, on the original information coming from the Panama Papers. Mm -hmm. Can I ask it's a question? It's the same with Lavallato. <laughs> <laughs> who is John Doe? The who? leaker. Who is he? He wrote... Do you know him? <laughs> because if, 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 this, know, if, 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 if we are talking about transparency... Where is the transparency on hiding John Doe's real name? No? You have to preach it. You have to walk like you talk. Hey, let you him have to do you know, what keep you him preach. his private life. You know? He wants to stay private. <laughs> well, you need to respect it. Sarcasm is the defense of the people that have no reason when okay. they want to talk. Another question. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it seems to be very like a hot discussion. No, no. <laughs> She's like my sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, um, probably analyzing Panama Papers is, is an exhausting and time-consuming process. So, my question is how much work or how many mandates does the cost analysis of, for example, when you want to reveal information about one company or one person in Panama Papers? So, Usually, this is about something like a couple hundreds of documents. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's fragmented, so quite often it doesn't make any sense, and mm -hmm. you need to know exactly what was happening here with the case. You need to know what you are searching for, and because all the documents, they don't have a name, like um, money laundering of chess, 
No, mm -hmm. it, it has just the number as a name. Mm -hmm. So you actually need to open every and each of the document to understand mm -hmm. what's in there. And I have this is probably a question many people are interested in. So who paid this analysis? I mean, the, the medias or the government? The government of Germany accepted no, 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 they no, no, pay. No. Okay, let her, let her answer. Okay. George Soros. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. They, she's okay. under your no, Soros no, 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 payroll. No, no. Okay, so, Not so, ICIG, sorry. Okay, uh, Adolfo. Oh. Okay, so please answer. So My name is uh, Adolfo, I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so, so uh, We didn't get paid for it. Yeah, so oh. it's like a voluntary activity. It was a yeah, leisure time activity, yeah. Okay, you see. Sorry? It's a, it's a voluntary activity, no. We didn't get paid uh, the, for it. The, okay, we are trying to, this is, we are trying, I like to make a little bit of fun when, when I'm speaking, especially in a second language, because I don't like you guys to get bored. Yeah. But this is really a very important, yes. a serious issue. Uh, then again, somebody was talking about WikiLeaks. Oh, I was making the comparison of WikiLeaks and Panama Papers. They are the same acts. But actually, I don't mind Wiki, the WikiLeaks. Uh, I'm kind of like the WikiLeaks because at the end, the government was hacked. And the government is the one who, has to, who needs to be transparent to us. Because they are funded by public funds. On the Panama Papers, everybody that was exposed we're as, we're as a private person. And as of today, nobody has gone to jail because of the Panama Papers. And as of today, as of today uh, the, 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 even the, 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 hack, the, the, the ICIG, they are saying that what they're revealing is not uh, 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 an act of, of criminal act. So, so, so you are violating somebody else's privacy for what? For a propaganda, for a kind of propaganda, okay. Uh, uh, okay. To, to do what? So, so at the end, trans citizens, I as a private citizen, do, do, mm. don't owe any kind of transparency to any other, mm. per, to any person, not even the government, as long as I obey mm. the law. Okay. I and if I don't break any law, and there is no presumption, and there is no presumption of guilt, they cannot. Surveilling me and ask for mm. automatic information of my bank accounts, etc., mm. etc., because I have the right to live and to be let alone and to move if I want. That's also recognized by the UN mm. chart, uh, Human Rights Charter, the right to leave a country and to return, and that means with your capital. Mm -hmm. So when a government is overtaxing you and overtaxing you your capital, your inheritance, and whatever to keep you. Is, uh, and, and trying not to use of your company so, so you cannot flee your country, they are violating your human rights too. Mm. Read the UN Human Rights Declaration. Uh, okay. Don't trust me. Uh, I have a question to Pablo. <laughs> so, uh, defending Panama Papers League, the question is, uh, can you describe what are the most crucial findings of Panama Papers League, and why do you think they are so important for our society? And this is a question for you. Okay, for me, probably the most revealing information in the whole Panama Papers was that Mossack Fonseca was taking 10% cut from money laundered. So for the first time, we saw that actually... Is that in the, is that in the book or in the... Really? Yes. Is that it? Is that in the documents, yes. In what document? Because as of today, no. Mossack Fonseca has not been charged of anything, not even in Panama, because of the Panama Papers. Yes. Tell me where, in which country. I'm not working for Amapa. By, by, by the way, I think, I think there is no legal process or anything. T tell me where legal yeah, Mosa Fonseca. I'm not work, I don't work for Mosa Fonseca. Mm -hmm. I know them because Panama is very small, but I don't okay. work there. They the were charged for money laundering. Where? Where? Not in the US, not in Europe. They are out on bail, so they no, 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 were no. charged. Where? And where? In Panama. In pa no, in Panama, no. In Panama, no. Not for Panama Papers. They have, another money laundering. Lava, they have the Lava Hato, which is another issue, but not for Panama Papers. They were charged for money laundering. No, they were charged for, as for, a, for, a, for selling a company to the Lava Hato, but that's not Panama Papers related. I'm not defending, I'm not defending Mosan Fonseca, but I'm saying you say, for a Panama Papers leak, they are not being prosecuted anywhere in the world. I don't, I don't, maybe they are a crook, maybe they are crooks. But for the Panama Papers, they are not being prosecuted anywhere. And I'm, I'm speaking and defending the privacy and the right of privacy of the 250,000 people whose information is currently exposed on the internet for everyone to see. And I say, 
for what purpose? Yeah, maybe, maybe I think we cannot verify this uh, answer to this question now, but this is quite interesting to know that... that Mosa Fonseca is not being charged in Panama mm -hmm. for any issue related to Panama Papers. Mm -hmm. They will have an issue which is, uh, for Lava Hato, which is another issue, a money laundering <laughs> issue in Brazil, uh, which the have, they, are not be, they are not being, they have not even been charged in Brazil yet. So, but it's nothing to do with the Panama Papers, and we are talking about the Panama Paper leaks. So, it's important not to mix. And then again, I'm not here to defend okay, maybe, Mosa maybe, Fonseca. I maybe. don't care if they do something wrong. Let them rot into jail. Everybody has to be responsible for their actions. Yeah. But maybe do not mix yeah. things. It's very important to be clear in issues here. Maybe some people are watching us at a YouTube video. So if they're able just to find any information about this legal, legal process. That would be nice. And, be yeah. easy to and just send a link to this, uh, like a comment to, to this uh, yeah. question. Yes, no, yeah. Microphone. Why is it so important was somebody charged or not? In 90% of the world today, the governments and police are so corrupt that no matter what is discovered in public, nobody will be charged, like in my country. So we have big revealings about like high level corruption when some ministers were like stealing money and about some organized crime figures. And of course, nobody was charged because the world is going in this direction that soon nobody will be charged for anything. So I don't think, I don't think this is kind of point we should discuss was somebody charged or not. So the journalists discover corruption, okay? So depending on the country and, you know, how much uh, is possible that, you know, they have like real law enforcement, will they be charged or not? So I think this is not like something that we should uh, measure the project itself because there was really big uh, discoveries all around the world about corruption thanks to the Panama Papers, also in my country, I'm from Serbia. But of course, nobody was like even really expecting that Serbian police will arrest the minister. That's completely impossible. Second thing is, I don't think that also nowadays, like was something like legal or not, uh, it's not anymore also things to measure. Because if you see the world also going in direction that the governments, they're becoming more and more corrupt. And now they reshape and change the laws to legalize the corruption. Most of the corruption actually is completely legal, you know, stealing from public tenders and set up in a way that you can, if you're on power, you can like steal money and not even like break the law, you know. So like so this point today, like journalists basically they do, they more measure it with something like good or bad, like wrong or right, you know, and that doesn't mean like necessarily need to be like legal or not, not legal. So I just want to add this because the whole discussion is like proving is somebody was arrested or was completely legal or not. Basically, the project exposed that some uh, uh, powerful people who are like politician or, or organized crime people or businessmen did some bad things and people suffer because of course, when you ever like steal money or launder money, there's like a lot of, lot of uh, human victims. So I mean, this is the whole point, not... Uh, Measuring these two. Okay. So, so blind, many yeah. many people want want want, uh, want to ask question. So I will, so if it is possible, if you if you can react or if you want to react to this uh, question. Well, that I just wanted to say about that is that yes, uh, who protects us from governments if they are so corrupt? And if if a government strips us of our right of privacy, we are even more in their hands. As simple as that. They are, the government is the one, they are the one who are supposed to be transparent, owe transparency to us. And that's the reason it happened. And, and, I, and my, the danger that I see right now is there is a tendency, even supported by international organizations, to, for the, for the excuse of fighting another war, and now it's war tax evasion because... The, sooner or later, marijuana they have to will have to be legalized, and the drug war on drugs will collapse. And instead of disorganizing all this regulation that we have made for money laundering, they have to invent a new excuse for money laundering. And the new excuse now, no, now it's not drugs, now it's tax evasion. And because of that, they're going to break or they want to diminish our privacy. So watch out. Uh, one, but we still, uh, you, you still uh, didn't answer to this previous question, okay, so you started answering the, the previous question a bit that 10% of uh, income from uh, f 
uh, most like Fonseca or from money laundering. Okay, so my question was regarding regarding like benefits or advantage. That's a serious. Yeah. So that's a can you continue in affirmation. in uh, answering this question? Well, what are the, what are the the other revelations? Okay. Wow. Uh, no, no. The question was the question was exactly. Uh, what are the most crucial findings of Panama Papers League and why do you think they are so important? So this was the first one and I would like to let you continue. Why do I believe this is so important? Yeah. Because till Panama Papers all formation agents were denying doing money laundering. Now we got the proof for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. Maybe there's another question. Uh, so I would like to uh, add to that and then ask something. So um, I think that on one hand we have privacy of 200, over 200,000 people that was violated. And on the other hand, we have learned that uh, politicians uh, still and are not prosecuted and those in power are not prosecuted. But I would say we already kind of knew that, you know, it's not a new thing. So. Like on one hand, uh, we violated privacy of people in order to learn that the, some minister in Serbia won't go to jail, but uh, they haven't gone to jail even before Panama Papers. Like it's <coughs> all Sorry. like uh, when I when I'm thinking about weighting the benefits and costs, I don't really see any benefit. There's no one in jail. So so like how how do you how do you weight the the cost and benefit? Um, and what have we learned, actually? So. There are people in jail because mm -hmm. of the Panama Papers. Who? Mm -hmm. Who? Former Prime why. Minister of Pakistan. Not because of Panama Papers. Because but internal of issue of Pakistan. Not because of Panama Papers. Yeah, okay. So who else? Who else? Okay, this is a good... Okay, maybe uh, not only who is in jail, but who is criminalized in some way. This is... Zero. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, okay. Go ahead. Pablo, first. please. First. I mean, like, first we need to actually accept the idea that the politicians are not private persons. No, they are not. So, they are not private persons. Okay. So, no, once not their but information... They have, they have a right also to, to, in their private life, not to be interfered unless there's a public uh, reason and there's a right, a, a, an issue, let's say there's a, a prosecution under them. They, as a, as a politicians, they, everything, they have to be public, but that doesn't mean that their personal things. And there's a way, a process, due process, to follow that without violating that. And that's called due process. The only thing that I'm asking is this. But not in Azerbaijan? Ah, well, that's the, but you don't need to hack them a Panamanian law firm to do that. Yeah, because most of the first family of Azerbaijan have their companies in Panama. Okay, okay, well. Let's, okay. So, again, my, my question is like, uh, I Haven't <laughs> we, um, like, isn't there something uh, that we learned that there is a problem with justice in different countries? So justice doesn't work. So why focus on some guy that has set up a trust for his fa family in Panama uh, to, you know, uh, even like uh, when they think that uh, their money is safer there, why waste time on leaking information about more than 200,000 people when we clearly have a problem with justice in Serbia, in Slovakia, in Czech Republic, in Azerbaijan. It's actually like, the role of the so journalist. You no, know, it's a, uh, we, it's are, a, we are exposing information that are not supposed to be exposed, so people can uh, make like, qualified decisions. They can make yeah. decisions that influence their life on a first quality information. So, so, I feel it's like following someone to the bedroom and leaking their pictures while they're having sex. You know, someone sets up a trust for the family. It is very, it is well, very, sorry. it is very dangerous for me and, and with all due respect and excuse that to listen a very respectful journalist like yourself confirming that 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 you are willing. Do you do you think do you think it's legally ethic, ethically okay to to steal information on, or to, to take it without their permission, call it whatever noun you want to say it, and publish it, and even though you can confirm and disclaim that it is not, you are not revealing any legal criminal activity, 
But the main objective is for the public to make the decision whether it is bad or wrong. Okay, so let me that, follow. That's, that's what I understood let from what you Let me follow you your logic. Yeah, okay, okay. How you defend Panama? I didn't steal the information. Okay. Okay. But so you publish it. I would like to ask you another yeah, question. You publish An, another, it. Another like et ethical question. And at the end, at the end, yeah. John Doe is uh, well for the ICIC. Know, for, the same. Well, okay. Yeah. I'm going to ask you another question. Uh, like it's an ethical question. So. Uh, do you think that the whistleblowers behind Panama Papers, and this is also a question for both of you, should be arrested for what they did because they compromised the privacy of thousands of people and companies? And if not, then why not? Do you ethically approve what these whistleblowers did or not? So this is a question. Uh, no, sorry, go ahead. Okay. So do, do you think these hackers should be arrested? John Doe? The name, the guy is the same, John Doe, no? Yeah. Okay. They are done, but, they are, but like from, purely from ethical point of view. I don't think so, because I believe the uh, public interest here was much stronger. Okay, you know, but it's really difficult to, to, to uh, grasp public interest, because my public interest is different than your public interest. My public interest here. <laughs> <was stronger. laughs> you know, like, like public interest doesn't exist according to me, you know, because we are just a group of individuals, not the public interest. Okay. So, so it's yeah, but we, we are still talking only about, let's say, Czech Republic and Panama. But if we will focus on the revelations in Africa mm -hmm. and Panama Papers, we will see that actually, according to some expert estimation, the money that are coming out of Africa to mm -hmm. offshore companies, it's exact, not exactly, it's almost the same value as all the humanitarian aid that comes to Africa every year. Mm -hmm. Okay, Adolfo, so what do you think? Do you think these, these people should be arrested? Yes, but about your last comment, yeah. Africa is poor not because of offshore companies, but because of European colonialism, no. basically. No. First of all, <laughs> And the second one is that if Mr. If John Doe, where is, trans, where is transparency? You are preaching transparency. Everything, we have to be transparent. So where is the transparency with your inform, with the informer? You if he has not done anything wrong, then where is why he is hiding? That's called, uh, 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 you have a freedom to speech, but every freedom has a responsibility behind it. I can stand up here and say a lot of bad things to a lot of bad people, but if I don't be able to prove it on a court, then I should be responsible of that. And that's why I blame uh, uh, that John Doe or, or the promotion of whistleblowers and actually the promotion of some international organization of laws to protect whistleblowing because that's kind of a new Gestapo. <laughs> that's kind of a new Gestapo. Because you are giving, you are giving the power, you are putting them like a behind of iron curtain okay. so they can, pro they can blame and shame everybody without even showing their face nor proof and that is very dangerous. Okay. We have another question. Yeah. At least that's how I see it. So that's if it's... What, they are showing proofs. So, that's the difference. Where are they? Who are in jail? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. I haven't, even, uh, I haven't even been able to talk, my friend. Uh, <laughs> you should wear a similar as the punch sorry. on. Anyways, um, yeah, for me, your comment about public interest, is that not the same tactic I guess the government say? You know, we're taking away your privacy to keep you secure. Um, and it's in the best safety of the public interest, as they so put it. And I feel this is a slippery slope that you can go down. And, and you know, would you say it's all right to destroy the lives of 100 people to protect a million people? Is that justified in your mind? Or would you say that, you know, the ends justify the means? I don't think, you know, the answer to any of these is, you know, it's, it's pretty obvious that it's not okay. You can't kill 100 people to save a million lives. That doesn't make sense. Each individual should be given the same respect as every other person. That's right. Um, so for me to say that it's in the best public interest, I mean, it's no different to what the USA or any other country puts out. And it's completely, for me, it's a false narrative that this doesn't do anything. It, you know, nothing is achieved by it. And if the information was illegally obtained, then you've just... It's bad journalism because then you should have done it in a way where you can actually use it to prosecute these people, whereas all that information is now just thrown away in the court because 
But right. it's not true. I mean, not all the information was thrown out. What you can see and what you can publicly access are only the names. Those are not the original documents. Okay, um, this, okay. another question. Yes, I have a question uh, exactly uh, for that point. Um, because um, with the Panama Papers, the, the source documents have not been published, right? So the, these, these documents have been leaked to these journalistic organizations, and then they came up with stories and were cherry-picking uh, certain things uh, from these documents, but they didn't uh, release the source documents. So this is, in, in, in that regard, not comparable to what WikiLeaks does, right? And has thus been criticized. And I mean, like, this is also the reason why nobody was prosecuted, because without the, the source documents and the source evidence, prosecutors don't have any evidence to get these people in jail, right? You, you are from Germany, so, right? Uh, I, I wouldn't comment on that. I wouldn't hey, comment on that. Actually, yes. uh, but, All but, the... but that is... That is that no, is, I mean... Hey, like you they, have to be transparent sorry, now. But, the, the, the gentleman says nobody was prosecuted, and that is because the source documents have not been published. This is one of the reasons. So, why are you making up these stories? On the other hand, you are Who's keeping up prosecutors stories, from doing their job. Who's making up stories? Sorry, I'm making stories. Well, you said um, that uh, nobody has been has been uh, prosecuted. Yeah, nobody I'm, went to jail. You are and, telling and, that and, I'm making and, stories and like say, I'm. I would I'm not say making may stories here. Maybe that's true, but that okay. is because there has that's been no thing. source evidence, right? Okay. Now the, the police forces in Europe, they get the access to the full Panama Papers database, and now the prosecutors can start to prosecute, investigate by their own. Okay, and now, now means from 2018? Yes, it's about three weeks old information where actually the German police decided uh, to share the access to those 42 million of documents with their European and the, and the German government pay a several million dollars for that information, as long as the French government, uh, as it was reported in CNN, van Christiana Lampours. Okay. Don't so ask me, ask her. We have another question. Uh, is it Panama paper more of a sign of a culture clash? Culture clash. Because if you imagine old uh, tax evader, it's like kind of middle ga class guy dodging taxes for bullshit projects around his neighborhoods. And now this, this Panama leaks are uh, empowering uh, hipster social engineers to close out the tax, uh, tax evasion possibilities for these kind of guys so they can have like more of a money for SJW NGO projects. And also, like, centralize more of a power to themselves because if they are like closing the tax loops, and uh, nobody can dodge the taxes besides the big guys, which still will have a possibility to avoid it. Is it is it like is it more of a the culture clash? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Taxes. Uh, yeah, I have a Ta question. I have another okay. question. If I can, uh, if I can ask, uh, and this is. Yeah, yeah, I, I will ask you later, okay. So, so my question is that um, how do you perceive the simple fact that a lot of people owning these offshore companies and hiding their money from their government institution are politicians, for example, members or, or, or members of Kingdom Family? The same people, often the same people who are fighting against tax paradises. So do you realize that this is a really hypocritical situation? And if yes, how do you want to solve this situation? I mean, we are not selective on stories we are publishing. We just expose mm -hmm. the story that we understand. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, whoever uses... Uh, offshore companies to hide that he's the beneficial owner mm. or to do anything other what is not right, mm. then I don't care. I just expose. So just to comment a little bit, I think, at least where I come from, uh, Panama, which is a country in Latin America whose laws and where has been structured 
uh, as a mirror of the uh, U.S. Declaration of Independence, where privacy, freedom, and property are the most important things that a government has to take care of to its people, and, uh, and, and it's actually prohibit the governments to harass their citizens uh, in, a, in a fiscal way, uh, we have to understand that everybody is equal under the law. Then again, having said that, taxes, taxes are a very personal matter between the specific person and, and, and the, the government. And in the international sites, and it's not my invention, it's in the UN Charter and it's in all the treaties international uh, accepted, taxes is not a global issue. There's no need for a, a new war on tax evasion. Taxes are a specific uh, rights of, so, of the sovereignty of each country. So if a French person, citizen, or a German citizen is tired to be uh, fiscally oppressed by its governments because of all the taxes he's paying even to go to the bathroom. And he decided to move his family and his capital somewhere else. He's not breaking any laws, at least according to the UN Declaration of Human Rights of 1948 that I just recently quoted. So that's the issue. Yeah, but <laughs> Sometimes I, I think that in Europe, we, uh, there's, they are trying to to, to influence everybody to make that if you have an offshore account, you are being a traitor and you are being uh, uh, something... No, 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 no. It's just I decide that it's, I, have the, I have the right to decide what I, I, I hide or choose or put or save my money. As yeah. long as no, I'm not breaking any law. And if I'm a tax... So we is, are not talking about taxes, okay? No, I am Most talking of about the politicians too. are using offshores to hide their identity. And, and, but the politicians that are behind this movement are not behind themselves. They, look, they are looking for the taxpayer because they want to keep still money, the, still robbing the money. Yeah. Another question. <laughs> they another, are not going to find... They are not going to look for themselves. They are going to look for, yeah. for your money. Thanks for your opinion. Another, another question. For, uh, thank you very much. Uh, Ladies and uh, la madam and, and gentlemen, um, I just have a, a, one statistic and a couple of questions which required merely a number I, or an, I, a yes or a no answer. My sunglasses. It's okay? So, um, just with coming. Um, this is an interrogation? No, no, I just have, I just have a question on no, the. No, I'm a lawyer. I'm, I'm very senor, difficult senor, to me you say what, yes or no. Déjame, por, 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 sí. um, is there a budget that the uh, Panama Papers project has. Uh, has um, has, has uh, worked towards over the last couple of years of its work, um, including payments for all the investigations the people worked. What's the rough budget for this project? We didn't get any budget for this project. How is it paid for then, please? You need to ask ICIJ because I have no idea. That's the transparency they manage. We were partners, <laughs> but we... Okay, how no, much John Doe, no, okay. no, you don't know how um, much money it costs. Okay, and you don't know the source of the funds for the pay no, for this no, project no, no, either? No. I am not ICIJ. I'm partner but you ICIJ. Work for them. I don't. They don't pay me. So you work for free then? It was already wow. said here. Okay. Okay. Fine. Thank you very much. Just going back to the uh, the, the, the Africa question. Um, since 1970, to uh, the uh, debt crisis of Africa, of you know when we had that about 10 years ago, um, 940 billion dollars uh, was the sum that was counted in terms of money flows out of African nations into Caribbean islands, $940 billion, all right, in those 35 years or so. When that, uh, when, when that crisis happened, the total debt, well, that was basically, you know, <laughs> tyrants putting money into, uh, into, uh, in, into, you see. The total debt that we could have forgiven them were totaled $170 billion. Just a little number to think about there. Um, now, as part of your investigations, um, did you also look into the, you, you mentioned uh, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan as well, was that also? Sure. Yes, okay. Tajikistan. Okay, sure. Did you, um, um, did you spot any of the outflows from the Aliyev or Mamadov family foundations into the Blair family foundations? What we've seen is that did they, you, they, yeah, they yeah. don't hide it really. No, no. They have so their... Blair and Associates did not, they, they are completely, totally open about the 10 million US dollars that they received for consultancy services to Azerbaijan. 
Well, they are quite open about it. And, okay. you know, what, what we've seen in those documents was actually that they siphoned... I just need... I just need yes, sir, yeah. Karen, yes, how they siphoned? That what we've seen, that they actually siphoned money off the banks in Azerbaijan. Okay, but the fact that Tony Blair received millions and millions of dollars from the family of Azerbaijan... It, it was is, different project. In the if it was project called Azerbaijani Laundromat, and it was focused okay. on Azerbaijani mm -hmm. government bribing European politicians. Okay. But in the so in bribing European politicians, and in the in he the, was not he, alone. There were more of them. I know, and so one, and and one more. And how about the, <laughs> how about the thirty million that the Clinton Global Initiative received from Nusrat Nazarbayev? That's shitty. And that's not in the public interest. It is, but I am not. You're not investigating that? Because I'm not living in the US and I'm not living in Azerbaijan. So why are you interested in Azerbaijan and not the US? But the US has more impact on No, I'm interested lives. in both of them, but okay. you need to ask this question to journalists okay. from Azerbaijan okay. or from was, US. Was there any information about the Bush Family Foundation's uh, private interests after, um, you know, since the 1980s when uh, General Noriega was actually president and a ruler of... Dictator, uh, of, not of, president, of, dictator. Right. General, well, general, of, general of the army. And Vice President Bush was... Uh, was, was CIA uh, director. Yes. And, who and sent, president later. Who, who, who sent the team in yeah, to take yeah, out yeah. Noriega after he had organized the entire Iran contract. Yes, yes, you got it. Is who introduced any, crack cocaine yeah. to the Los Angeles and the si epidemic, senor, si et cetera, senor. et cetera. And John Kerry was the chairman of the uh, of committee course. investigating that Iran contra affair. Yeah. Was it, which was also a whitewash. And John Kerry was our vice president. Any, any investigation of that? You need Anyone? to ask U.S. journalists. Yeah. Is that in, in public interest? Yes, I'm, I'm the, the bad thing about Panama that Panama is in the middle yeah. of Colombia and the United States. Yeah. Colombia is the largest producer of, of drugs, yeah, and, okay. and the United yeah. States is the largest consumer. Yes. And they, <laughs> both of them, one, them one yeah. are blaming Panamanian banks and Panamanian offshore company for their money laundering okay. problem. I'm, That's the real thing. That's what uh, is happening. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm really no, sorry. No, that's, that's the truth. That's the I'm truth, really no? sorry. We have a lot of questions, but we are unfortunately out of, all out of time. So I hope these speakers will be here all the time. I'm really sorry. I'm, no. Okay, okay so the last question. Definitely the last question. I don't have any questions. I just have something to say. It's very, very simple. It has been a deep state operation. This is the cabal trying to get rid of the politicians and the crooks that didn't want to lick their asses. And all the leaks and all the proofs are there with the Q leaks, QAnon. It's very simple. So, and now all the crooks are taken out. I concur. And Trump is taking all these fucking crooks out. Very simple. It's done. It's a deep state operation. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe, maybe it would be fair to uh, ask our speaker to tell their last sentence or message, important message, if they want to tell something. No? No? Okay, so well, I, I can make one thing. I think those organizations that are attacking privacy uh, and promoting this exchange of information agreements and, and, yeah. and, and eliminating bank secrecy, they are, they are like ISIS, man. You know, uh, <laughs> in a sense, wait, 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 wait. In a sense, in oh, yeah. a sense that ISIS try to, try to destroy freedom by using <laughs> terror. But the OECD and this organization, they try to destroy freedom by using financial transparency, you know, and become the big brother on your back or your neck uh, in terms of financial. Because at the end, life without freedom is impossible. But freedom cannot be achieved without privacy. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Thank you a lot. And thank you a lot, both speakers, for coming. And if you have any questions, these people will be here. Don't hesitate and ask them. Thank you.